What's up guys, welcome to another video, back by popular demand, you guys have asked for it, and here's an update, I am going to deliver, so, did a video, maybe a couple years ago now, about some great um, books to read about not only <clears throat> ethical hacking, but pen testing, um, social engineering, all that good stuff, and uh, video's done really, really well, and uh, I've had a lot of requests to do a follow-up. And so this is kind of an update on some new books that I've gathered since that time. Uh, I'm only going to include, like, the good ones here. Uh, some of them have been garbage, i got to say. Um, so I'm not going to include anything that I don't think is worthwhile. So let's just dive right in and take a look at the new set of books that uh, I highly recommend. Um, if you're wanting to get into pen testing, learn about hacking, learn to not get hacked, uh, learn the basic um, techniques of a hacker so you, again, don't fall into that. Not only, I'm not talking just hacking when it comes to your computer or your phone or whatever getting hacked. I'm talking about being fished, social engineered. There's a lot of great um, marketing techniques out there anymore to try to get you tricked into clicking a link, following for something to give give personal information, your PII, in, away. And, you know, your identity is worth a fortune. You may not be, but somebody could take your identity and do whatever they want with it, spend a lot of money, they're going to write checks that your body can't cash, right? So, this is the best way to read these kind of books and be familiar with it. So, Let's go ahead and throw this first one down here. Hiding from the Internet. So this is a book about eliminating your personal online persona, your footprint. And for those of you that are into the, like the social media and you like just like are extroverts on the Internet, probably not the book for you. You're, you're, you're putting your information out there voluntarily. Anyone can find anything on you very much. Then, you know, unless you want to change your habits, because eventually that makes you a target. You gotta fly under the radar. You gotta be stealth. And this not only ha shows you how to do it on the internet, but in life in general. So if somebody comes looking for you or wants to steal your identity, it's hard, okay? It's very, very hard. From buying a house and not having it registered under your actual name. Yeah, all that's in here, all right? And you're gonna see a couple books from this Michael Basil because um, he writes really good uh, quality stuff on privacy and security. And uh, another thing that you're going to hear is OSINT, which is Open Source Intelligent Techniques, which is free. It's a, it's a bunch of tools on the internet that you probably don't know about that people can use to look up stuff about you. So, how you defend it, right here, hiding from the internet. Go in, if you want to do this first, this is in no particular order, but do it. And then, you might graduate to the Complete Privacy and Security deck, deck, Desk Reference Volume 2, and this is co-authored, the Michael Basil again and Justin Carroll. All right. Kind of the same thing. How to be private and secure. All right. One more from them. I mentioned OSINT. Open Source Intelligent Techniques. Resources for Researching and Analyzing Online Information. Sixth edition. There might be seventh edition out now. Um, just how to go in and... All these resources, social networks, Twitter, how you can use all the stuff on the internet to find stuff on people, right? Very, very good. And most of that is free. All that stuff in there, free techniques, free platforms. You're not going to go into like been verified and pay $19.95 a month or $20 for one record, you know, and hope you get something. This is all stuff that's readily available. Very, very cool. <clears throat> all right, so that's kind of a good place to start. All right, if you want to learn how to remain private and how to research thing people and get all the information you want, here's your, your tactics right here, all right? Not a lot of, you know, some of it's techie, but most of it's just common sense, pretty cool stuff you maybe not even heard about, right? So then let's go into social engineering. The Science of Human Hacking. This is a great book for that. From Christopher Had Hadnagy. I don't know. Second edition. 
Um, I've had this one for maybe a year, or maybe a little over a year. Uh, great way to social engineer somebody from calling company service desks and pretending to be a user and trying to get information or a contractor that's locked out. I work for your company. I can't get my password. I need this information. All sorts of stuff and techniques on the science of human hacking. Read it. This is a great book. All right. You're going to be learning all the techniques in this stack. Now, let's talk a little more technical. Um, the Bible, I would say, this is like the best one out there right now by Will Alsop. Uh, Advanced Penetration Texting, Hacking the World's Most Secure Networks. This is technical and it is very, very detailedly good. Okay? I would highly recommend this one. Set it aside. Hacker Methodology, again, learning about HMH, the Hacker Methodology Handbook. Very small, version one. Don't know if there's a version two. Um, some of these I haven't even followed on up done, but uh, there's a lot of technical jargon in here. Kind of like a, um, a red team field manual. Oh yeah, we have that. The tribe of hackers, red team. Uh, tribal knowledge from the best in offensive cybersecurity. Now if you don't know about red teams and blue teams and stuff like that, um, it's a way to approach hacking, right? So, this is a red team. They're on the offensive. So, that's your little handbook for that. And there's a blue team. If you want to look at the blue team, go for it. Uh, learning some of the tools. You're going to find Kali Linux is probably the number one tool out there of Metasploit and stuff like that to actually do your hacking and pen testing. Your ethical hacking, I'm going to say. Okay? And your pen testing. So, the beginner's guide. Got to start somewhere. Uh, even medi mediocre you know, you're a little more experienced, this is still a pretty good book. So, um, it's comprehensive. So, you know, it's not just a beginner's guide. Learn to Kelly Linux step by step. So, uh, learn one of the tools. And then, the Tribe of Hackers, this is kind of like, ah, uh, man, I'm trying to think of it, like Tim Ferriss, I think, did a book where he just interviewed a bunch of people for their best practices, like, in life. And this is kind of like that, only in the hacking world. Cybersecurity advice from the best hackers in the world. So they come in here, uh, without more secure building blocks, we'll keep having breaches no matter how much we're spending, right? So these are some of the best hackers in the world and some of their, their tips, tricks, ethics, tools, all that good stuff. Great read. Um, I can't remember what that Tim Ferriss book was, but uh, um, it was very, very similar. And they took that concept, the Tribe of Hackers. And notice the Tribe of Hackers, they have actually quite a few books. So if you're going to check out Tribe of Hackers, uh, you know, you're going to come across some, some different books out there. So anyway, these are some updates to um, some really good pen testing books, um, ethical hacking, your privacy on the internet, you know, using the tools of the internet to research people. You know, maybe you're doing genealogy. Then, heck, this is a great book. You know, you can find out a lot about people. Maybe you're just trying to hunt down someone, you know. Uh, you know, there's just so many great techniques for doing stuff like that. Uh, I'll give you an example out of this book is um, buy somebody a gift card at, like, Walmart, register it, uh, and then when you give it to them, you can log in. Because how many people go and register their Walmart gift cards, right? Right? Then you can go in and, and log in. You can actually see where they're spending it. And that kick butt, that's pretty kick butt. There's all sorts of techniques like that, guys. You gotta learn them. You know, maybe you didn't know when you got that gift card from so and so, they were tracking you. Oh, you thought they were being friendly and giving you fifty dollars? No, they're they're trying to learn your patterns, where you go, and it's pretty instantaneous. You can make alerts on there when you make a charge, so they get alerted. Oh, let's see. Hmm, he just got gas at a quick shot. All right. So, a lot of stuff to learn. Anyway, guys, check the show notes for links for all these books. Um, I'll try to put the most up-to-date versions of some of you uh, have released, like, a third or second or whatever edition. Um, and, uh, you know, read more about them. Check out the website. Uh, this is Michael Basil. He has his own website. I'll even link that in there because he's got three of the books on this, this list. So, definitely cool stuff. Uh, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.
Hope this was kind of what you were looking for with an update from that video. And uh, um, I continue to buy them, so maybe we'll do a third one of these down the road. Um, I got a couple right now I'm reading that I couldn't throw in here because I got to justify it. Got to make them make sure they're good. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.